Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and today we're going to be going over the 2020 Jeep Grand Cherokee SRT, and we're going to compare it to a 2018 Jeep Grand Cherokee Trackhawk. Now, the reason that I'm doing this comparison is if you get a used Trackhawk or a this one actually is a brand new one with huge discounts, then it's pretty much the same price as a loaded up SRT. So as always, we're going to do a walk around going from vehicle to vehicle, and then I'm going to sum things up with which one I think is the better route to go. Start under the hood by going over the Trackhawk first and foremost. So under the hood here, we have a supercharged 6.2 liter V8 that goes through an eight speed automatic transmission. Power outputs are 707 horsepower and then 645 pound feet of torque. And then over here to the SRT, we have 475 horsepower and then 470 pound feet of torque again through an eight speed automatic. And then it is a naturally aspirated 6.4 liter V8. Let's finish things over on the front end. Let's start with the Trackhawk first and foremost. So you can see that we've got these cool little heat releases at the top of the hood. I think those look super, super menacing. I love them on the Grand Cherokees. But anyways, you've got these LED lights with the projector bulbs right in there. And then note that there's no fog lights or anything because they need all of this to obviously feed that huge 6.2 liter supercharged V8 and all that. So I mean, just tons of air intakes. I mean, you can see just how aggressive and massive the front end is but you still get your little sensor for the adaptive cruise control and then parking sensors on the front end as well. And then if we go over to the SRT, you're gonna notice it's gonna look pretty much identical. So you still get the little heat releases at the top of the hood. You can see it has those same LED lights with the projector bulbs. Pretty similar venting, except you can see we do get fog lights on the SRT where obviously on the Trackhawk, we do not get those. And then you still get that same sensor for the adaptive cruise control with the little parking sensors that are all just above it. But you can see front end wise, they look pretty similar. They're not identical, but I mean, it is super, super similar. So let's go over the tire and rim setup. Let's start with the Trackhawk first and foremost. So you can see it's 295 millimeter, 20 inch rims. Same thing with the SRT. You can see one of the main differences other than the rim color, yellow brake calipers for the Trackhawk, red brake calipers for the SRT. And then just look at the size of the rotors on both of them. I mean, they both just have absolutely massive rotors. I prefer the blacked out rims, but these obviously will stay clean a lot easier. Going down the side, we can see we've got Grand Cherokee on the side here. On the Trackhawk, it says Grand Cherokee, but then it says supercharged. Let's head to the back though. We've got our key fob here for the Trackhawk, it says Trackhawk on the back of it. Red key fob, obviously. Got a couple functions, your lock and unlock, tailgate release, and remote start. And no video is complete on a Trackhawk without doing a remote start. And you can hear just how loud that, deep, that growl is. It is insane. Well, if you press that again, it'll shut it off. Press that button and that'll release the rear hatch. And if we pop into the rear of the Trackhawk here, we can see tons of storage space. You get a little cargo cover right here. That's to lower down the tailgate again. You do get a full little power outlet and then there is spare tire underneath as well, but storage space in general here on the Trackhawk is plentiful and shut the tailgate now. Here's our key fob for the SRT, it says SRT on the back. Same functions, tailgate release, lock and unlock and remote start. So if we remote start this one, we can hear it start up. It actually doesn't sound as loud. Shut that off and then we can do the tailgate release just like in the Trackhawk and we can look at everything in the rear of this one. So we can see Popping into the rear here, same little cargo cover, same little tailgate drop down, 12 volt, and same spare under there. So everything back here is identical and let's shut it. Let's go over things stylistically. Let's start with the Trackhawk. So you can see we've got these full little LED lights. I see the spoiler at the top, blacked out Jeep badging, it says Trackhawk. And then you can see that you've got little parking sensors, tow package. The biggest difference you'll notice is quad outlet exhaust in the rear. I love the look of it. I do love the look on the exhaust on the SRT, but I miss quad out like exhaust on a Jeep Grand Cherokee is just crazy. Now over onto the SRT, we get that same spoiler, same LED lights, same blacked out Jeep badging. And for me personally, I do love the contrast between the white and the black versus just all blacked out, but that's just me personally. Same little tow package just down below, same parking sensors, but you can see the exhaust tips. It's just dual exhaust instead of the quad tips like on the Trackhawk. And you know, they look pretty cool, but you can see that the cover's kind of fake, but you can see the real exhaust tip in there. It's a lot smaller. 
Now coming to the rear of the Trackhawk here, we can see we've got this nice leather trim up here. This one has a signature leather package, carbon fiber trim. You've got more leather here, leather all over the door panel. I mean, it just looks and feels really, really premium. And by the way, this one does have the Harman Kardon sound system on top of that. So you can see a couple speakers right there for that. And then look at the seats in the rear. So with the signature leather package, you get this leather that's a lot softer, looks a whole lot better. Still get functionality though, cup holders right there. Heated seats here in the rear, a couple USBs, full power outlet as well. And then this one's got the TVs in the back so you can flip these up for the kids. And you actually see the sunroof is already open. Now looking at the door panel here in the rear of the SRT, this one again, signature leather package, so you can see carbon fiber trim, all of the same leather padding, everything. It all looks and feels really premium. Same Hardman Carden sound system. And then if we look at the seats here in the rear, again, really premium soft leather, looks and feels really good. Same as what's in the Trackhawk. You can pull this down, more cup holders. And then over here you can see same heated seat controls, power outlet, all that kind of stuff with the vents. No TVs on the back of these seats, but it does still have that panoramic sunroof. We got on the Trackhawk, one touch to lock it and then to unlock it. Just have to put your hand on the back of the door handle and then we can open it up. The door panel here in the front's gonna look pretty much identical to the rear, so again, the really nice leather padding with the carbon fiber trim, more leather down below. Another speaker for the Harman Kardon sound system. There's a little one up there. Window controls here on the side. You've got your mirror adjustments right there. And then if we look at this front seat here in the Trackhawk, beautiful leather. Again, I really love the look of it and then the, just how soft it is. You have to feel this in person. It's super, super soft. And then we can see you've got your seat adjustments down there with the little lumbar. Pedal layout is just down below as well, and they've done a good job with the aesthetics on the pedals. You can see you've got your little fuel door right there, your light controls right here, and then the steering wheel is gonna be automatically adjustable. Now I've got that same keel sentry here on the SRT, so one touch to lock it, and then to unlock it, just put your hand on the back of the door handle. You can see this panel looks identical to what's in the Trackhawk and the back of the SRT, so same leather with the carbon fiber. I'm noticing this carbon fiber here in this SRT is kind of like not as glossy as the carbon fiber in the Trackhawk. You can see your memory seat adjustments right here, window controls right there with your mirror controls, speakers for the Harman Kardon sound system. And then here are the seats here. They look identical again to what's in the Trackhawk, same leather. Signature leather package is all gonna be the same in the Grand Cherokees. Got your seat controls just down below, and then your pedal layout right there. So the Trackhawk, the pedal layout's actually a little bit nicer in my opinion. And then you've got your little fuel door, the light controls, and the steering wheel is gonna be automatically adjustable. Start the Trackhawk, just put your foot on the brake, push the push start and it'll start right up. It says supercharged there in the screen. We've got all of our steering wheel controls right here. So you've got your controls for your cruise control, adaptive cruise control as well. They have wrapped the center logo here with the Jeep in leather. Really nice touch track hawk at the bottom of the steering wheel so that you know that you've got the uh, supercharged V8. And then you've got that for the little center screen. We'll go over that in a minute. And then your voice commands. Paddle shifters on the back of the steering wheel if you want to shift the gears yourself. And they're actually a really decent size, so I really like that. There are radio controls just down below them if you want to control the radio stations yourself. And then this is your windshield wiper slash turn signal stock. So we've got all of our gauges right here. You can see the speed on the left side. In the center, you've got the RPMs. And then you've got a couple different menus that you can scroll through that give you different bits of information on the vehicle. Like, guys, just so you know, this has only been taken to 71 miles an hour, so it means that someone took it on the interstate, but still a brand new vehicle, okay? Hasn't been rallied or anything like that, even though it's a 2018. Now we've got our center infotainment screen here. This is the upgraded 8.4 inch that came out in the 2018 Grand Cherokee, so touch time is really good. You can see it comes with navigation as well does have a dual zone climate which you can control from the touchscreen. Heated and ventilated seats, heated steering wheel on top of that, but pretty simple infotainment system to use. And while we're there, we can use the backup camera so you can see that you've got some trajectory lines right there. So this will make parking a whole lot easier. We've got our analog climate controls down in this area, radio controls on the side, we've got your stability control. That is to turn your eco mode on, which please don't ever use that if you have a track hawk. Lane departure assistance, parking sensors, and then that is your parallel and perpendicular parking assistance as well. So right here, we've got a little bit of extra storage. It is lined with felt, a bunch of charging stations in there. But if we close that, you can see you got a couple cup holders in this area. This is the shifter for the eight speed automatic. You can see it does have a dual shift mode if you wanna shift the gears yourself, which you would then use the paddle shifters for that function. We'll go over the drive modes in a minute. This is your center console, which you can pick it up. 
you've got a little DVD player in there with a 12 volt, but lined with leather, really, really nice. And if we go over the glove box actually, while we talk on storage, again, lined with felt, tons of storage space, and they've got nice leather trim around the glove box, above the glove box, and then they've got that cool carbon fiber trim, so really good material wise. So let's go over the drive modes. So if you press that, it'll show it on the center touchscreen right here. And so you can set up the different drive modes. So like if I go over into sport, you'll see it'll pop up on the touchscreen. If I go over into track, if I go over into snow, and then if I go over into tow mode, you can see it changes everything with the vehicle, essentially throttle response, you know, how long it's gonna hold a gear, you know, how much power is gonna go to, you know, the front wheels versus the rear wheels, all that. So really cool system in general. You can kind of customize it all in this area do have a valet mode and obviously this will have the performance pages since it is an SRT product but you guys have seen that a million times just gives you gauges on the car so like zero to 60 timer real-time horsepower gauges all of that but anyways launch control right here and then you got your customs so you can have a custom drive mode with this as well you do have to have 500 miles on the vehicle so you can see this has 45 miles on it so still got five or I can't do math guys still have 455 miles to go before you can uh, press this button and do some crazy launches. Up top here, I've got universal garage door openers. You got the thing for the full panoramic sunroof. It is suede up here, which is really, really nice. Feels really premium. I love suede headliners in vehicles. Then you've got your little thing to open up the rear hatch. Other than that, things are pretty simple up top, but again, love the suede. Now that we're done going over the interior on the Trackhawk, let's head over to the SRT, which you can't see because of the window sticker thing. Hello, Ooh, look at that paint. That looks beautiful in the sunlight. Start the SRT, just put your foot on the brake, push the push start. It'll start right up and it says Grand Cherokee. You can see the steering wheel looks pretty much the same. You don't have the nice leather wrap steering wheel though. It says SRT in the middle though, at least. Cruise control right there, adaptive cruise control just down below. Nothing cool right here in this area. And then you've got that for the center screen and then we've got our little buttons for the voice commands and then full leather wrapped steering wheel paddle shifters on the back of the steering wheel to shift the gears yourself and they're just as big as what's on the track hawk radio controls just down below that and then that is your turn signal slash windshield wiper stock here are our gauges on the srt so you can see you've got speed on the left side rpms in the center and then you've got your temperature gauge and fuel gauge and you can see there's a bunch of different menus that you can scroll through on this to give you different bits of information just like on the track hawk as you leave it to be a little speedo to keep me away from uh, you know who center touchscreen here again so you can see it's got the same navigation everything here is going to be identical to the track hawk in terms of response time and i just pressed the wrong button but anyways in terms of response time all that still has the climate controls here which is a dual zone climate which it's actually getting kind of warm so we're going to turn that off heated and ventilated seats heated steering wheel you can see the backup camera looks identical on this and this will also have the same performance pages as well that you guys have seen a million times. And then you do have this new SRT dashboard, which I think is cool. So you guys saw this in my full review with the SRT, but you can see that this looks just a little bit different. Same functionality as what's on the Trackhawk, but just how the setup is, you can see it's got the performance pages, all that. Just the setup of it, it looks a little bit nicer in my opinion. We've got our analog climate controls right here. Like I guess it is a dual zone climate analog radio controls, stability control. This button here that, by the way, when you buy this vehicle, just get like a piece of duct tape and just tape over it so that you never have to look at it, see it or anything because it's completely worthless. Lane departure assistance, parking sensors, parallel and perpendicular parking assistance. And then you can see here, we've got felt lined and again, more charging stations. Couple cup holders, we'll go over the drive modes in a minute. Here's your shifter for the eight speed automatic. You do have that little dual shift mode so you can shift the gears yourself. With these paddles too, you can use this or those, whatever you prefer. Center console here, you can see that you got the little top part of the console and then you can pick it up. A little bit more storage space since this one does not have the TVs and got a little 12 volt just down there. And then finally, coming over to the glove box, we can open this up again, lined with felt, leather all around since it has a signature leather package. And I kind of like this carbon fiber a little bit more almost because the gloss carbon fiber is kind of overplayed in a lot of vehicles, but both of them look good either way. So here are our drive modes right here. You've got your launch control, which again, you've got to have 500 miles, which this only has 10 miles on it from the factory. So can't use that till you got 500, 500, 490 miles to go on this bad boy. You've got your custom mode still. And if you press this button, that'll pull up this little screen that we went over um, earlier with the new setup in general. So really good. And then if we go through the different modes, so you can see that they'll pop up here. It also pops up there with a little graphic 
and it tells you all the different stuff. So you get like your tow mode and it tells you everything that it does. You know, and it also, you can see it tells you the split with the all wheel drive system, you know, how much it's sending and all that torque wise. So you can see in snow, it says full 50, 50. So I think that's cool how much information it actually gives you. Now I've got all of our controls here for the full panoramic sunroof universal garage door openers, and again, the tailgate release. And this, again, is suede headliner, which I really like. Feels and looks really premium in general. So, good job on that Jeep. I wish that more vehicles just came standard with suede headliner, because it's just nice. Now that we are done going over the interior on this SRT, let's pop back outside and decide who wins. Stickers for right around $83,000 before any market adjustment. Trackhawk stickers for right around $100,000. Like I said, huge discounts. Like I said, check out their inventory in the link below so you can see how much this is going for. They recently lowered the price. So for me, I think it's a really good value for how much you're getting because it's just a hint pretty close in price to what a brand new SRT is but you get 700 horsepower. So what I'd have to say overall, now if we were just going purely off of price, that would be pretty much a tie in my mind because you're $25,000 more, but you're getting more power, nicer interior, all that kind of stuff with a Trackhawk. However, since this particular Trackhawk is discounted so much and you can pick up a used 2018 Trackhawk for a pretty good deal now, I think in this particular situation, if you're open to a used vehicle or if you can find a really good deal on a new vehicle like this one, I would say the Trackhawk wins in this comparison. However, a 2020 Trackhawk to a 2020 SRT Grand Cherokee, they're pretty much even because of the price difference. And again, I really appreciate all of you for watching. Please comment down below what you think and which one you think wins personally in this comparison. And again, a big shout out and thank you to Larry H. Miller, Dodge Ram, Jeep Chrysler here in Sandy, Utah for providing us with both of the Trackhawk and the SRT. If you're in the market for a Jeep, Dodge Ram, or Chrysler, check out their inventory in the link below. I'll see all of you in that next video.